Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary and today we are bringing you an amazing collab with beautiful, very talented ladies. And this is a get ready with me summer collab made possible by Gloria. Formerly the name of her channel was Beauty After 50. It has changed to makeup and more with Gloria and Gloria. Gloria is an amazing, amazing friend. She is very talented and she does a lot of get ready with me. So this is right up her alley. Something I wish I could have a little bit more time to do, but unfortunately I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the palette that I'm going to be using. At the end, when I show you the final look, I will show you what I used. I am going to do the eye look and then hop off, finish off the makeup look, come back and show you what I've got. This is a giveaway collapse, so stay tuned for the information on the giveaway as well. And I'm not going to name every channel. There are several channels in there, but I will link them down below and there will be a playlist as well. So take a look at that. Come and support us all on this amazing get ready. So let me go ahead and show you the palette, which I thought was perfect for this, um, for this particular get ready with me. And this is by Cara Beauty. And Cara Beauty is a brand, and I know several brands bring forth a person, a specific person, and I know it is a collab with many other ladies, but this one holds dear and near to my heart. So this is a palette that reminds me so much of Erica out at Erica Conger's channel, and I will link her channel down below because I am mentioning it. So this is a palette that I'm looking forward to using. I have not used it, so it is new to the channel, not new to me, but like I said, I haven't created any looks with it, and why not do it with a get ready with me for a collab? So this is the palette that I will be using, perfect for the summer, a lot of summer shades, and while I do the look, I'm going to talk a little bit about my, and this is just my, my opinion, um, what summer means to me, my pros and cons for summer, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And I'm going to start with the, what I don't like about it, but let's go ahead and get started. I have primed my eyes. I did not set it. I'm going to set it with one of these shades here and kind of bring a, I don't know what kind of look, because I'm going to wing it like I always do. And let's go ahead and get this and I will show you as I go along what I am going to be doing and I'm going to use this one here just to set it because I am going to do a bright yet colorful type look just something that I'm aiming for and yellows are my struggle but not upset about trying them out and this one is the shade mellow Like I said, I'm going to go bright, so if you see it brightening up, that is why. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about summer cons. Like I said, I'm going to talk about the negatives first and then go on to the positives so that we can end it on a positive note. So the cons for me, as far as summer goes, and I'm pretty sure many of you will agree, is actually the heat. I am not a heat person. I would much rather have winter. Fall would be perfect, but winter is one of those that I would absolutely love to have all year round. You're able to cover up to warm up, but in the summer, you can only take so much off. Another con that I find are pretty much the sweating. Sweating is one of those things I do not like. Um, I don't know, just feels icky, feels like I'm dirty. So showers are not always available, especially at work. So anything that you do outside of your home, if you start sweating, you're going to have to deal with that sweat for the rest of the day until you're able to get to a shower. Um, and I had several of them sunburns. <laughs> How can I forget the sunburns? I just experienced one of those, a very hefty one at that. Um, I did, it took a 
bit of healing. I'm still peeling very badly my shoulders and my back. So those are still peeling and I'm talking what were we going on two, maybe three weeks. And yeah, it's been an adventure for that. So I am going to go in with a brighter yellow. No, yes, I am. I'm going to just kind of dab it in the inner corner or in the inside of my eye. Like I said, I'm going to make it colorful and I will be doing some cleanup, of course, once I hop off and then go from there. And I wish I could do both of my hands, like kind of go back and forth. I do see a lot of people. They can use both of their hands to do this. I cannot, I will make a mess. So I'm having to twist and turn. And this one is the shade Bling, Bling Me, which is this one here. And now, let me go ahead and with the same brush, I'm going to dip into, am I going to go pink? I will probably do pink on top and then blue on the bottom going to see how that comes out. So I'm going in with a lighter shade of pink and this one is in the shade What's Up, which is this one right here. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on with our story. I can't think of any more cons. I cannot believe that. Heat and sweat are pretty much what I do not like about it. Now, the pros. Pros, there are quite a few of those. So for the pros, I have colorful season. So it is very colorful. The flowers are coming in. Uh, there's a lot of rain, a lot of kind of cooling kind of breeze. So there are days that are not super hot, but not very many of those. So then we go on to oh my gosh I lost my train of thought I cannot believe it summer is one of those seasons oh my gosh parties there we go couldn't think of anything there's a lot of parties going on 4th of July being one of them a lot of family get togethers, being outdoors, swimming, hiking. So you get to do a lot, a lot of activities. So that is another pro for that. Then we have long days. And I know for many people, long days mean you don't get to sleep in very well because the sun is still shining bright even at nine o'clock p.m. So I do like the longer days. Uh, they seem more alive, less gloomy. And I know for winter, once winter comes around five, six o'clock, it's already getting dark out. So there's a lot of things that can kind of put a damper on family time. You're not able to stay outside much. And that's simply because it's cold for one, and it's dark. So that's one of another negative about it. But not upset about summer. And like I said, flowers, a lot of color. And I don't know what I am doing, but I will make it work. And for this one, I am using the shade Y2K, which is this one here. And like I said, I'm going to go bright. Uh, if I think a little bit, or I think more things come up. So if I think of more things for summer, I will definitely mention them. But what I am going to do is talk a little bit about 
getting ready with me videos. Um, these are videos that many people, and I know I am one of them, we learn by watching other people create makeup looks. I do this because I, I watch a lot of hooded eye uh, ladies. And that is simply because I have very, very hooded eyes. And I try to do things with my eyes that is going to help me create the image of it's not as hooded as I think it is. But that's just an illusion. If you can get to mastering that, that is amazing. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm pretty comfortable with the looks that I do create because it does give me that sense of my eyes are not as downward as I think they are. And bright colors is one of those things that I have discovered helps me with that. Like I said, just tossing it in there. I don't know about that yellow, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I'm going to work through it. I'm going to work through it. I could have thought about it a little bit, but I didn't. Okay. And... This one I am going to, I'm going to use my finger for this one. And I'm going to go on my lid. I'm going to use this one here. And this one is Queen Things. It's a very, very pretty shade. I don't know, this look kind of sends a Barbie vibe. And when I say Barbie vibe, Lori Latimer comes to mind. And yes, I'm going to mention a lot of the channels that I do watch. And some of these ladies that I will be mentioning will be in the collab and others will not. But I will still give credit to those that I do mention. So keep watch for that. And these are ladies that I enjoy watching their content because I love what they do with their eyes. Lori Latimer. Lori Latimer creates some amazing looks. She is one that I look to. She makes it look so easy. And I'm just going to go to my other hand. This is one of those times that going to my other hand do work. Okay, but back to Lori Latimer. Lori Latimer creates some amazing looks. She does a lot of skincare, self-care type videos. So if you have not checked out her channel, I think you would like it very, very much. Okay, here we go. And as I said, this palette brings uh, Erica Conger to mind. So. If you have not seen hers, now's the chance to do that. She does some, ama some amazing looks as well. And I do follow a lot of these ladies out on Instagram. Instagram is where you will see a lot of the photos of the makeup looks that are created. Uh, mine included, but I don't do a lot of get ready with me's. I'm wanting to, but I will definitely start working on that. Now let's go ahead and get into the outer corner. I'm going to do that with a pencil brush. For the outer corner, I am going to go, because I do need to go a little darker. So I'm going to use a purple, actually, um, or a plum color. And this one is the shade Dreamin', which is this one here. So let's go ahead and get that. I'm doing this in the outer corner just to darken the corner a little. Like I said, I do certain tips and tricks to hide the hooded eye. This is a pretty color, very pretty. And I was talking about Erica Conger and the palette and Erica Conger talks a lot about the shimmers with Cara Beauty and how they perform. And it got me to thinking, and I definitely agree. The shimmers for Cara Beauty are amazing. They apply beautifully and blend easy. Some of the colors or shades are not 
as pigmented as I would want them to be, but they are buildable. And I know it sounds more like a review for Cara Beauty. Okay, so that is what I have so far for the top of my eye that I am going to change that yellow. I'm not very happy with the yellow. So I'm going to go into a, what can I do with that? A green maybe? I'm definitely going to go into a green. And I'm going to do it lightly and see if I can cover that yellow a little bit. I'm going in with this one here, and this is in the shade Minty. So Minty comes to mind. And, and I like it. I may need a little bit more. And then just bring it out. I know I do some crazy things with my makeup sometimes, but that's what playing with makeup is. Going out of your comfort zone, doing a lot of things that you normally would not do, and go with it. And I do. I like it a little more, and I like bringing it. It does brighten a little more. And I think the yellow just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. I'm liking it. I do like it. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off, get the rest of my look going. I will do the, I said I was going blue underneath. So I will do the underneath once I get the concealer, everything else on. And then I will come and show you what the final look is and talk about the giveaway. If I think of any more summer things, I will definitely bring them to you. But I'll be right back. I am back and this is the look that I was able to create. What do y'all think? I love it. I personally love it. Now that little yellow green that I had going on here, I'm not sure where I was going with that, but I'm not upset. It did pull together and I love it. So what do you all think about the look? Colorful, right? So keep that word in mind, colorful. That you'll be needing later. So I did do swatches, so I will go with the swatches, but I'm going to go in the order that I applied stuff. And for the palette, like I said, summer, get ready with me collab. So this one screamed summer for me, not just the cover itself, but the shades. The shades that came in here are simply beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, gorgeous shades. I like their performance. Um, there were three shades that I used in addition to the ones that I showed you while I was doing the Get Ready With Me. And that is this shade here, and this one is in the shade High Five. Then I used Super Blue and Juiciness, which is this one here. So those are the three additional shades that I applied, and I did swatch them, so I will show you that. Before I show you all of the swatches, I am going to show you in the order that I applied the rest of the things. Um, I went in with my eyebrows, but the eyebrows were actually the number one thing, even before the eye shadows. And this is in the All Rose Beauty Eyebrow Stamp Stencil Kit. I absolutely love it. It's much easier for me to do my eyebrows, but I still struggle with that. It is a little stamper kit that I received. And there is a video for that. Then I applied, of course, the foundation. But for foundation, I used the QMS Tinted Day Cream. And this is in light to medium, summertime. That's what this is about. And then I have Rare Beauty. And this is a tinted moisturizer. And this is in the shade light. And I am going to show you the two swatches because there is a reason I used both and I will get into it when I show you the swatches. So then I have the blush, and for the blush I use the Eye Method Natural All Over Face Blush Color. So I love it. Then I set everything with my Mary Kay 
powder, setting powder. I think I have no my mascara. The mascara I use the Iconic London and it is the triple thread. So I like it. I really like this mascara. Then I have the Sydney Grace, and that is the lippy that I have. And Sydney Grace, and this one is in the shade Maya. It's a beautiful shade. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I think that was it for the entire face. Now let's go ahead and get with the swatches. So as I said, I'm going to start with the eyeshadows. This is the one that I set my primer with, my eye primer. Then I just did this all over the lid. I darkened a little more on the crease line with this one. Then I went on the actual lid to do the shimmer. And this one I darkened the corner with a little bit. And this is the one that I went in over the yellow because the yellow had to go. I just needed something different. So, and I know I made a little twist. So these were the three additional shades that I have. And this one is the one that I put all under the, the lower lash. This one I did, I stamped it into the lash line itself. And then I did inner corner. So those are the shades that I used for the foundation. This one, and you can see it's a little darker. This is the QMS and this is the Rare Beauty. And the reason I did these is because this one gives me the more, more of the glowy summer look. And this one here just kind of highlights and brightens the highlighting areas. This is the lippy from Sydney Grace, the blush from My Method Beauty. And that is what I used. Now let's go ahead and talk what everybody's probably looking forward to. And that is the giveaway because there are giveaways in every single one of the channels. However, keep in mind that you can only win once throughout the collab. So if you win on my channel, you would not be able to win on someone else's channel. And that's just to give that, one, that many more people an opportunity to win. So there are several channels. I'm not sure how many channels at the end of this there were. Uh, but definitely the playlist will be down below. So as many channels as there are is as many winners as there will be. And that's just to keep it um, pretty much even across the board and have more winners versus one winner that won on three different channels, if that makes sense. So the one thing, and I'm not going to show you everything that's going to be in the giveaway, but I will definitely show you the palette. And this is the Los Angeles BH Cosmetics lost in los angeles it is completely sealed this is the palette it's really pretty shades i love bh cosmetics i love their performance for the formula so definitely this will be in there there will be mostly makeup products in here and that's just to create a summer look i may not give you everything you need for a full face but definitely a boost in several of the products that you may need brushes, lippies, who knows what else may be in the giveaway. But I wanted to show you the palette that's going to be in there for sure. And this is what I have for this summer Get Ready With Me multi-channel collab. Thank you, Gloria, for inviting me to do this collab. I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun. And like I said, so many talented ladies are in this collab. Check them out. Get a lot more ideas on how to create makeup looks. Some of us, like I said, including me, I look for hooded eye tutorials because they help me. I hope we're able to help some of you. And rules. <laughs> Almost forgot the rules. The rules, all the rules will be linked down below. The main three are you must be publicly subscribed to all the channels. You must be uh, US Continental US address is what you must have. And you must be 18 years of age in order to qualify. So that is pretty much it. Read the rules. Some of the rules may change depending on the channel. So make sure you follow all of the rules so that you are not disqualified. And I am making it a little longer, but I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. And once again, thank you for joining me.